G'day, I'm Michael Thompson. I'm a Big Fix Technical Advisor for the Asia Pacific region based out of Melbourne, Australia. You can see my QR code, which you can scan to get in contact with me via LinkedIn, should you wish to. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to install Big Fix Inventory. Now, I've got a couple of resources up here that you can refer to. One's around the actual inventory server requirements and database uh, requirements that you have there as well as a step-by-step -step installation guide for installing Big Fix Inventory on Windows. Just a few notes about what we're gonna show here. It's gonna be the Windows Inventory install. We're gonna be doing it on a remote database. We're gonna be using an Active Directory account. We'll uh, do the initial configuration of inventory in the portal, and then we'll create some scans. So we'll start with just a few prerequisite tasks here just to make sure everything's set up. We want to use an account that's got access to our database as well as having local admin rights. Now I have across to my Active Directory server here. I'm going to be using this uh, service account that I have. We have a look at this particular account. It's a member of this delegation group that I have for SQL admins. If we switch across to my box that has the SQL instance on it, we can see if we have a look at this particular group, we can see that they inherit the sysadmin role. So the account that I'm going to use will have sysadmin rights. Okay, so to start our install of Big Fix inventory, we need to go into our Big Fix management domain. We go into our license overview and we need to find our inventory product license. We have to accept our end user agreement. And once we've done that, we can enable our Big Fix Inventory version 10 site. Now, we will have to wait for our inventory site to gather its content. Currently, it's version zero. Okay, so our inventory site is now gathered. We have a, a current version. So the first thing we want to do is subscribe our computers to this site. Now that we've done that, we want to activate any analysis that we might have here. We'll have to turn on relevant content to see them. I'll activate those. If you're doing the install of inventory, you also want to activate as inventory and license site, subscribe computers, and activate the analysis in there as well. So we'll just wait a few minutes for our computers to subscribe, and then we can go on with the next bit. So I've now got all of my computers subscribed to this particular site. So the first thing that we want to do is search for download Big Fix Inventory version 10. And this is the installation file that we can use to install Big Fix Inventory on either Linux or Windows. But in this demonstration, we're doing Windows. So I'm going to take action here and this BF apps server is where I'm going to install inventory. Click OK for that. OK, so our download's completed. So we can switch across to our box that we're going to do install on. So if we bring up our file explorer, and we go into our C drive, program files x86, big fix enterprise, bez installers, there's our BFI installer. Now, usually, try and extract here, you might not have permissions. You need to copy this somewhere else. Some folder here. I'm installing 10.0 of inventory, so I'll extract that here.
and what we can do is run our setup server windows. So we want English. Next. Depth of terms. Next. We'll accept the default location to install it in. Alt port. Now here, specifying a service account, we do want to run this as a service account because we've got a remote database. Now, in this instance, we need to make sure that we've got the login as a service right. So I think the easiest way to do this is to bring up our services. So the easiest way if login as a service right, I think, is to find a, an existing service here. Go into properties, go login, and just change this to the actual account that we want to use. And when we click apply, grants that right as that user. We could go in through the group policy, the local policy editor, but it's easy to do it this way. And then just change that back to local system. So we haven't actually changed anything. We just granted the right. So what we can do now is come to our installer, put in other account, put in the details of that service account. Password. Click next. Now remember that account has to have sysadmin rights on the database where we're going to do the install. And it also has to have local admin rights on this box, which it does. Click the install. And that's it, we've installed our Pix inventory server. So we'll leave the tick there and we'll launch our browser to complete the initial configuration. So this will launch a browser. Okay, so now we've got to specify our Pix server name. That's where my database is, is sitting. Want to use Windows authentication? Click create. Switch across to our Big Fix server. Yes.